<laughs> yes, you are cooking by now. The word mix was saucepan. Well, we are on 11 points for Dawn, Stephen on 21 as we go into our next letter game. Stephen, your choice this time. Can I start with a bell, please, Lily? You can. Thank you, Stephen. Starting with a U. A constant, please. A T. A vowel, thanks. Another U. A consonant, please. M. A consonant, please. R. Another consonant, please. C. Another consonant, please. W. A vowel this time, thanks. I. And finish with a vowel, thanks, Lily. And final letter of the day, A. Thanks, Lily. Let's start the clock. Stephen? Only four, Richard. What about you, Dawn? Four as well. Two fours. What was yours, Stephen? Warm, Richard. And Dawn? Rit. Rit. Rit large. Certainly rit clearly. Yeah, well well done. It's uh, another nasty, nasty uh, piece of business. Two U's to start with and W's and U's, they just, uh, they're not compatible. Four for both contestants and uh, I only found atrium for a possible six, A-T-R-I-U-M, a, a, a large forecourt in a building. It was a challenging mix of letters, but four each for Stephen and Dawn. Our scores, Dawn on 15, Stephen on 25. Only 10 points in it, so still plenty of opportunity for Dawn to catch up. It's our final numbers game, and Dawn, it's your selection. Thank you, Richard. Could I have three large and three small? Thanks, Lily. Three large and three small. Thank you, Dawn. Starting with the smalls, nine, one, and six, and the three large... 25, 175, and the target number is 336. 30 seconds from now. And for you, Stephen? 326. Stephen, you're the closest. Can you take us through your method, please? Subtract nine from, uh, six from nine. Which is three. Three times 100. By the 100 gives you 300. Plus 25. Plus the 25. Plus one. And the one gives you 326. So just 10 off the pace, and that means that uh, there will be a score for Stephen. But could you take us any closer, Lily? Yes, I have the answer for you. Oh. Uh, Show us how it's done. 100 divided by 25 gives you 4. Now, 75 plus the 9 gives you 84. And if you multiply those two together, it gives you 336. Uh, I'd love to be able to see inside your head sometimes. It just seems so simple when she explains it. But well done, Lily. But also, well done, Stephen. Uh, so, five points to Stephen, bringing the scores to Dawn on 15, Stephen on 30. Time for the conundrum game, the last part of our show, where we will show our contestants nine letters arranged into two short words. They then have 30 seconds to uncover the hidden nine-letter word. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum, and your time starts now. Has come to an end. The buzzers haven't sounded. 
So our contestants have been defeated by the conundrum tonight, but we should show you the solution. The conundrum solution is Operation. So that means that after the final round, our winner is Stephen. Our carryover champion, the scores. Dawn is on 15, Stephen is on 30. So Dawn, thank you very much indeed for joining us tonight. Well played. We'd love to be able to send you home with a Macquarie Dictionary, Edition 5. It's been great to have your company. And speaking of company, Stephen, we'll look forward to your company tomorrow night because you'll be back as our carryover champion. Looking forward to it, Richard. Looking forward to it. And, uh, David, there were some interesting words. There were some pretty tough letter combinations came up tonight, but uh, some interesting words resulted. Anything that took your fancy? Look, the one that I wouldn't mind uh, lingering on for a moment is uh, the word mitre. We had mitred, if you remember, in the show. And uh, now mitre has two meanings. It's the tall bishop's cap that has those separate twin peaks on either side. And it's also a, um, a join of wood that also has a very similar, the two cross pieces joining uh, on a separate piece, a mitre joint. So mitred could s describe someone with the tall cap or a woodworker who has uh, basically sealed a, a joint of wood. I'm just trying to picture you with that, that yes. mitred cap just sitting on your head. Oh, Very much you your style, kind of regal and... And a handy person I am not, as you <laughs> may have also detected. I'll see you tomorrow night, David. And great to see quite a few equations cracked tonight, Lily. Well done. Absolutely. Thank you. It feels so great to solve those problems. It's a pleasure for us as well, and it's a pleasure to have your company. We look forward to it tomorrow night. That's all the letters and numbers we have for you tonight, although there are, of course, billions more challenges to come in the future. Don't forget the website, sbs.com.au forward slash letters and numbers. See you tomorrow night at the same time. Good night.